In order to set up the sidebar and filters, click the top dropdown and click Collection Pages. Once you're within the Collection Pages section, then go down to the Sidebar and Filters. Welcome to the Sidebar and Filters section. Sidebar and Filters allows you to categorize your products. In order to turn the sidebar on, go to the left sidebar and click Enable Sidebar. When you click this button, it puts some empty space on the left side. Now let's add in our content. I'll go to Add Content and I'll click Collection List. When I click Collection List, it adds a collection list right here with all my different product items. First, it allows me to have the selection box here where it says show this group by default. See, it, what that means is that it actually opens up a group with this already open. So instead of coming like this close, it comes open. If I deselect this, it doesn't come open and I have to actually physically open it. I can also change this filter group name, which is the heading name for this section. So I can, I can change it from collections to collection. And it changes over here. I can also click this button here and reopen this. I'll go back to add content. I'll click a type list, right? And what it does when I click type list is it puts this type list, excuse me, it puts this types heading section right here. But you don't see anything here. In order to see your types, and, and remember, you have to preset your types, right? Preset the different item types for your products, and you'll be able to see them here. Same thing with the collection section, right? In order to see this, you can first click the save button up here. And if I don't see any types in my type list, it's because I haven't added types to my product, right? So you can come outside your booster theme, go to your product section, right, within Shopify, and then be able to set the different types for your products, and you'll be able to see it in this section. I'll go to the next section. So add content, and this time I'll click brand list. Brands, excuse me, brand list, allows you to be able to show your brands. For the brand list, we have this group name, right, this filter group name called vendors, and it's showing the different brands inside of our store. Let's say you owned a music store, right? Your Shopify store was a music store. Then you would have your different music brand vendor names here, right? So when you set up your products inside of your Shopify store, you'll be able to see those different brands that you have set when you click to show the brand list here. You could also change this from vendors, right? That's what we're, that's the name that we have for this group to brands if you want. All right, let's get out of here and go back to add content. And let's click filter group. So within the filter group section, we have this design drop down. So we can choose, you know, color swatch, text swatch, text, tags, this allows us to be able to change how we're showing um, the different filter items to our users. Remember, these things show based on if you have set these, uh, set these options inside of your Shopify store, right, when you're adding your products in. So I'll go to color swatch, right, we're not seeing anything because we haven't set any uh, color swatch items, but have you, if you have, it will appear right here. We can go to text swatch, and it adds our different text swatches here. We can go to text and it just lists out our text. Or we can go to tag with text in a row. And it lists it like this. Right now we also have our filter group name. And this is the, the heading name that we have above this section. We can name it filter if we want. Right? We can remove group and it'll show here. We can put back group and it'll show here. Right. 
and we also can change the tags list right inside of here we can set different names for our tags and then below it lets us know make sure the different names we have set are separated by a comma right and in order to provide optimized results our filters use tags instead of variant options so we can change this let's say we want to make a tag for our items right we have a yoga store so we'll add items like uh, black right so we can be able to filter to the color black and bra we have pants and mats as well one thing to notice is when I put these down I separated them by a comma right so each item is separated by a comma so now what happens inside of this filter group is let's say let me make sure this drop down appears I want to make sure all products are selected so making sure all products are selected so that way when I click my different filter group types I'll be able to see it and it's not just limited by a specific collection section okay so make sure all products is set so then I go down to filter group and let's say I filter through black it will show my black item that I've connected that specific uh, tag name to inside of my product section it will show that item that I have listed here that I've set when I added my products to the Shopify store so now I can close this and if I scroll down I click bra it will show me the bras right that I've set that tag name when I was adding my products to my store so I can unclick this and let's say pants and see when I do this it shows the pants as well so that's something really cool the filter group is very similar to a tag right you add your tag names that you've set with your products right when you were adding them to your Shopify store and then you'll be able to see them here if I'm not on all products though let's say I'm on um, the mandala towel If I'm in the mandala towel section, and I can show by clicking this drop down here, and if I click an item, let's say black, you see it'll say there's no products that match your criteria. So if you're just showing, uh, if you're clicking one of these tags, right, in this filter group, and it isn't within one of these subsections, you won't be able to see it. That's why I clicked all products, right? But if you have um, an item in here that has one of these tag names, right? You'll be, your user will be able to see it within here. So something to know. All right, so now I'm gonna to go to add content and click image. So here, I can actually add an image in, right? Right here. But we also can add a title. I could say um, photo or whatever I really wanna put as that heading within this section and I'll show down here. Then I could also select an image. Um, I'll say this booster image. Press select, and I'll show here. Then for the image URL, if I want this to lead a user somewhere, I could click in here. I could either paste in a link, right? Just physically paste in a link, type in a link, you know, whatever works best. Or I could choose one of these, let's say product, um, all products. So now when you click this, it'll take your user, right, or the person who comes to your store to buy an item, they'll click this and it'll send them, boom, to the all products section, right? All of your collection products. So right now we're in all products, so we'll show them this. But you can set whatever you want, what, excuse me, wherever you want the image to go, the image URL to go here. So back out of here and we'll go to add content. We could also add text. And they have this cool title here. This is our heading once again, that you're seeing right here. We can say a must buy, uppercase the B. And then we'll just add our text in. So we could say um, this, these items are amazing. You must buy. 
See? And it'll show down here. And we could underline this and you know make it all in bold or italicize it. Right? Or even add a link to it. So there's all these different options we could do. So I'll click add a link and so you can even connect the text with it. So I will let's say say products and just choose a specific product like the butterfly yoga pan. And then press insert. See? And it placed it on buy. But you can set which word you want it to be on or if you want it to be on all the text. Thank you for watching this video. Please refer to our help center for more information.